Pinterest. Hi everybody, here is a design solution. I've been asked about this so much that I knew it was finally time to do a video for it. So let's get into email signatures in Canva. Here's the thing. Email, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So please watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to make an email signature, but I did wanna preface this by saying it's not the best user experience. And I will go over why. Not everyone, <laughs> just as how not everyone uses Google Chrome, like some of us use Firefox, the people who are wrong use Internet Explorer. Not everyone uses Gmail. Some people are forced to use Outlook. Just joking. Some people use fancy stuff, like me, I use this thing called Polymail right here because I don't like my email being in tabs. I'll pop an affiliate link if anybody wants to try out Polymail, but I think my folders look a little bit cleaner. I also like that the, the preferences in the vacation responder looks better. I like having my conversations and files over here. This is my preference, which means that I'm viewing emails differently from how you're viewing emails. So here's what I did. I made some email templates, which you don't need. You can just use any Canva ones. And I tested out using an email signature here. So I have a long skinny one to go at the bottom. And then I made a separate document, which is 40 pixels by 40 pixels with just social media icons. And then I uploaded all of that separately into Gmail. And because I love doing this, I tested it. I sent that bad boy to all of my friends and all of their different emails. Here's what happened. This is the Canva method. So the first person is using whatever this is. I, I'm not really sure what the platforms are, but check those icons out. That is not correct. <laughs> That looks ridiculous. So the actual signature itself would be clickable to my website and then there was supposed to be an Instagram and then another little website icon right here. This person has permanent dark mode on and as soon as I saw this one I laughed because I realized that this computer had a white fill in it and the little <laughs> Instagram icon was regular and then this signature stuck out and it was like a whole thing. And even if it didn't mess up, because there were so many um, images and things, it got flagged in a lot of my friends' email inboxes. Like, hey, this is from an external sender. And what happens when something gets flagged or if it's too image heavy or it's got attachments and downloads, sometimes those images get stripped. So it's my recommendation that while I'm gonna show you how to make an email signature on Canva, I actually recommend using something like Signature Hound, and this is actually what I use. This one's completely free, although they do have a little donation thing. I always recommend donating. You do have to create an account, but I made an email signature, and this isn't that, this is just me telling you guys, I made an email signature that is text friendly. So this is highlightable, it's clickable, it's got my icons right here, it's got my logo which directs to my website and my headshot. So these stack together nicely. It's not so wide that it crops off in people's inboxes and it's, it's all nice and compact. So I recommend Signature Hound, but I believe that everyone has the right to do what they wanna do. So let's get into email signatures and Canva. So I'm gonna be popping this into the blog post that this is accompanied with. I'll give you a few email signatures. I think 800 pixels by 200 pixels is great. Canva also has a whole set of um, email signatures as well. So you could come over here and, oh my goodness, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of these. Do I recommend going really busy with your design? You know, not always. This one's nice, okay. The thing about these is that they're not going to be individually clickable. It's not possible to embed a Canva signature as code. So I know a lot of you are like, well, would I be able to click on these things? No, because you would be installing this as a PNG, as an image. There's not a way for you to come over here and click share and then embed. You just, this is not a way to do that. And you wouldn't want to do that. You wouldn't want to add code in all of your emails. It's just not quite right. So here's the way to do it. First, you are going to download um, something like this. So I already have one in a separate thing. Um, so it's just a straight, 
image if you want one, your logo and your information. Remember, you can't make each of these things individually clickable. You're gonna make the whole thing clickable, right? So then we're gonna come over here to Gmail. Gmail, 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 which I don't use again because I am a, uh, I mean, I do. My inbox is Gmail, but I use Polymail to check my email. We're going to go to um, the little gear over here and then settings. And you have to scroll all the way down, which is strange to me. And then here is a signature. We're going to create new. So I'm going to call this one Canva demo. I'm going to create that. Uh, oh, can you make the box bigger? Can I expand this? Oh my gosh, it's so small. What have you. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the insert image and I'm going to find, did I already upload one? I don't think so. I'm going to find that email signature. Okay, here it is. I'm going to click open. I'm going to wait, wait and hydrate. And there it is. Now I can barely click on it. You can change the size it looks like to medium, large. I wish I could expand this. I don't see how to do that. Then when you click on the image itself, you can come over here to the link and I can add a web address. So let's go dot studio. Cool. Now to add individual icons, you can just hit the enter. I would create icons that you like. There's tons of them over here in Canva. Um, you can type in LinkedIn, and you can either choose, do you want a rounded thing? Do you want a circle? Do you want an outline? You can pick whatever you like. I would just use a 40 pixel by 40 pixel. Um, that's the smallest you can go in Canva board and put them all here and then save them and put them somewhere. And then the same thing, you're gonna come over here to your um, Gmail settings. You're gonna click on the little insert image, click upload select a file from your device because we downloaded those icons to our device don't forget click open wait and hydrate and then there's my little linky link so then i can click on that i can highlight that click on the link let's go dot oh actually that would be instagram.com slash let's dot go dot studio everyone follow me and there you go. And then to add another one, you would stack it. So what I'm going to do is, do I, is there a save button? Yeah, I've got to go all the way down here and click save. And then we're going to compose. Oh, I think I have to switch signatures here. Yep, Canva demo. And there she is. So you can see here's the link, go to link. So when this actually gets sent to somebody, so let's actually send it to myself, which I think I can do. Hello, self, right? I don't think, yeah, boom. So when I click on this, now this email signature is clickable and I can click on my icon. But let's go see how that looks in Polymail. Hello, self. So this is what it looks like in Polymail, which looking pretty good actually, so that's great. I would wanna test this with my friends with um, to see how Microsoft handles it, to see how Hotmail, Yahoo, all these other accounts handle it. But this is a great way to do this if you want to do this design approach. So that's how to use Canva to make email signatures. Um, just to show you guys as well, if I go back over here to this gear and click see all settings and go back, there's not really a way to add in code into a signature. So if you really wanted like the best thing you can do, in, still in my opinion, is to use something like this, which is going to not be as fancy schmancy, but it is going to get the job done and be a little bit more user friendly and prevent your emails from going to spam. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Use Signature Hound, use uh, what you like to get your email signature across, and uh, let me know what design solution you'd like to see next.